Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to get yourself a new layer above your background. And with this new layer, we're going to set the glow or the effect to a linear dodge add. And we're going to lower the fill to around 83%. You also want to make sure that you right click on here, go to blending options, and you've unticked the transparency shapes layer. What this will do is it will make the glow blend a lot better with the original image and it'll make it look more realistic. And speaking of the glow, what we're going to do before we start creating the first glow is we're going to press Ctrl or Command J three more times. We want to get ourselves three more copies of this exact same layer. And we're going to select the first one. You want to get yourself the brush tool and we can use the end square bracket on our keyboard to increase the brush to around, let's say 600 pixels. You also want to make sure that your brush is 0% on the hardness and 100% for the opacity. Once you've done that, we can now left click to get ourselves the first glow. You then want to select yourself the second layer and now we're going to increase the glow by using the end square bracket and you want to increase the brush to around 1700. Once again, you want to left click on here and with this one we're just going to lower the fill to around let's say 36 percent this is completely up to you how bright you want it to be but for me i still want it to show the headlight for the next layer we're going to scroll up and select the third layer and with this one we're just going to decrease the size of the brush and you want to paint on any areas that may be reflective the glow should shine onto this bit right here so we're just going to fill this in. And then from here, we're going to right click on this layer, go to blending options. And we're just going to blend this in by increasing the underlying layer. You just want to drag this out to around, let's say 46 or until it starts to blend. You can hold Alt or Option key and then drag this out to smoothen this out and for me 120 works really well it gives it this glow effect right here once you've done that you can press ok and with this one we're just going to lower the fill to 66 percent and then finally for the very last glow we're going to select the last layer you want to increase the brush to around 4000 pixels You then want to left click on here and with this one we're going to lower the fill to 50 percent and you want to get yourself the first tool and just press ctrl or command and t what we're going to do is we're going to hold alt and upscale this until it fills in most of your canvas so i would say right about here you can then double left click to apply from here, we're going to create the light rays by using the polygonal lasso tool. You want to left click on here, go all the way around, go back to the very first one and then connect it up. From here, you want to get yourself a mask layer. And with this mask layer, we're just going to increase the feather until it blends in and looks a lot smoother. And there we go. That is your glow effect right there. 